Alright guys, welcome back. So we tried to unlock Trickster Kismet, but it didn't quite work. Um, the vague hint by the, given by the person who un, who did unlock her didn't quite help me. Um, did she take it back? I thought she still had it at the... Or I thought Par still had it at uh, the last turn. Because it was at full health. Um, I don't know. Either way, um, so I'm not going to try again for Trickster Kismet tonight... I'll wait until the full, or to the official unlock conditions are revealed, and then we'll do a video on that later. So, let's do a random team game. All right, this seems fun. Um, so we've got Dark Visionary versus Hammer and Anvil, Ambuscade and Le Capitan, with Fanatic and Knife Rogue Agent at the Doctorath Capital. That should be a should be a pretty decent. We even have a, a Nemesis going on. All right, let's do it. Alright, so we start off with Cover Fire and Hammer and Shield. Ambuscade leads off with Revolt and La Capitan has Chiquito. And then we got a Wildfire, so that gets rid of Cover Fire. Okay. Oh, Psychic Maelstrom right off the bat. That's actually pretty good. Um, let's see. What does Fnatic have? Fnatic has End of Days. Um, so, we're just going to throw that out there. Yeah. It's a little Psychic Maelstrom. Oh, Bastion doesn't matter. We have End of Days. We're just going to say screw you all. All right, so let's turmoil uh, knife actually. Mm. So she can keep her servo gauntlet on top. So hunting pack. Gets all of his ne or well, gets three of his nemeses. Oh, jeez. And then heals everybody because, of course, they do. Oh, jeez. Desert Eagles at full. I'm really glad I have end of days right now. Get wrecked. <laughs> uh, she's not going to be able to deal any damage because of the target. I mean, I could hit Chiquito and knock him out, but there's no point. What does this do? Reveal the top card of the hero deck belonging to the player with the most cards in hand. That player discards any cards which share a keyword with the real card. Ew. Ew. Um, well, Knife, I know, has an equipment on top of her deck. Uh, alright, we'll flip Vision... Well, actually, wait, hold on. No, we'll flip Fanatic, because the chance of her hitting a one-shot is pretty high. So we've got an ongoing. So her entire hand gets wrecked. Oh, you... Well, we're just going to draw two cards with the knife. And then we're going to wreck their board. <laughs> like, the same way that Le Capitan wrecked Fnatic's hand. Oh, Hammer and Shield are a relic, so it didn't get blown up by end of days. Really? <sighs> Uh, all right, so they regain two HP. So <laughs> it's like we've done nothing to them. All right, 
Um, so now let's go ahead and we're going to brain burn Le Capitan and get Chiquito out of her discard pile so she can't get him back. So we're still going to be losing a card to her, but now, see, if Chiquito is in play, she, she attacks the hero for the highest HP. Otherwise, she tries to take Chiquito into from her trash and then makes the hero with the most cards in hand discard. So now she's not going to be dealing damage until Chiquito comes into play. Yeah, yeah, and that that does make sense, jerks. All right, let's peek at Fnatic. What do they have? Um, so we'll put Divine Focus on top of the deck. Too many guns! Uh, let's see, whenever that hero's player draws a card, each target deals himself two melee damage, and then this card is destroyed. Uh, we'll give it to Fnatic. So now we're going to exercise Hammer and Shield, putting it to a very convenient four damage. Yes, I would like to draw a card. Get rid of Concealed Pitfall. So now we've got Throwback. The environment takes a full turn now, and then Villain... Oh! Which means this thing's only going to be hitting us. Oh, well, it doesn't matter, because we have the Authoritarian Ziggurat, so they're immune anyway. And Orbital Bombardment. Lovely. Alright, let's get rid of Infiltrate and Obfuscate. So... Ugh. And then... By Therathian cards. Oh, okay, so they would still take damage from the Gene Bound. Um, so that's four damage to everybody. I mean, it's not horrible for us. Well, no, it, it's pretty bad. Uh, I think what I want, however, is we'll get Conduit Blade out. And then we're going to peek at the bottom of Fanatic's deck, which I set up to be Final Dive. Play it. Get rid of Hammer and Shield, and throw it right in Anvil's face. Alright, now everybody's going to be taking damage. And there's the Rebel Headquarters. <laughs> A little late on the Orbital Bombardment there. Cleansing Flames... Deal each non-villain target one damage, and then every, all the villains regain a health. Oh. Oh, boy. We're in a bit of a pickle, because I only have one healer, and she doesn't have any of her healing cards right now. Uh, so let's go... And I still have a lot of health to work through. Oh, I need to I need to start working on Anvil. I need to get him out of here. Let's peek at Le Capitan. What is this? Shuffle each hero's trash in the associated deck. Don't card that hero's deck. Real cards one shot discard it, otherwise put it in the pl Hmm. Now eh, we'll put that one on top. Yes, we're accelerating her to Chiquito. I'm okay with this. So, put a snare into play, and then put a snare from trash into play. Uh, we'll actually, what does he do? He does each target next to a snare three melee damage if no one is dealt it. All right, we'll put the enticing target into play. Of course, he's going to just hit everybody for damage. Skip. 
And, oh, it's all going to the enticing target. So, we're actually not going to bother with power. I'm probably losing Fnatic this round. Uh, let's get rid of Flawless Execution. Ha ha! Rig net working to my advantage. Uh, not actually dealing damage, though. We're going to play Servo Gauntlets and flip the bottom card of Fnatic's deck. Oh, Aegis of Resurrection. That is useful. Alright, please be a citizen. Please be a citizen. Oh, civilian. Okay. And there's the orbital bombardment. Again. <laughs> and there's Bastion. <laughs> oh, man. I almost lost a visionary. Well, I have to tag the enticing target for two damage. And then we'll turmoil ambuscade, make sure he doesn't do anything dumb. Um, well, that's not happening. Are there any snares? Okay, so we'll put Envenomed Bolts on top, because so, that'll hit Visionary and knock her out. Oh, right, too many guns. Um, well... So let's Brutal Censure, get rid of this enticing target. And then continue with the Stabby Stabby on Anvil. <laughs> Could have used that Consecrated Ground last turn. Knife has the most cards, because she's probably losing her... She's probably uh, getting killed on her next turn anyway. Yep. And down she goes. Is this going to at least give me an in-cap ability? Yes. Um, so let's flip the top card of Fanatic's deck. Put that into play. So we're going to get rid of Bombardment, then deal one damage to Anvil, one damage to Ambuscade, which is prevented by Bastion. So we're just going to stop dealing damage, because I need to get rid of Bastion. <laughs> Bastion's down. Now... Oh, this is going to be... Uh, yeah, Fnatic can pitch card. We can pitch... Prayer of Desperation. Keep it in play. Oh, whoops, that redirects the damage. That was really bad, dumb of me. Uh, Genebound has second highest, sure. Fnatic regains a health. 
And then Ambuscade's probably going to kill her. Yep. Alright, well. Ow. Okay. <laughs> Rignet was MVP for that one turn, and then everything went horribly, horribly wrong. All right, well, got some time for this video, so let's do something else. Let's do a classic game. Um, oh, I love a good brawl with the NEAD. Let's bring along Ra, though. It's not an NEAD brawl without Ra. <laughs> The original team villain. Alright, so we have Neptis, Isis, Geb, Nuit, oh, and priority target number one, and Shu. And here comes a tomb and ancient magics. Uh, we'll hit Mainstay. Oh, this is the Adamant Sentinels. Okay. I didn't realize that. Um, so that's going to be a little different, because they, they don't have Mainstay, regular Mainstay's block. Alright, um, well, let's put up the Flame Barrier and just start burning Nuit, because she needs to go. Let's see. Put out decoy projection for now. Peek at uh, Omnitron. Oh, he's on Omnitron U. Well, we'll leave that technological advancement on top. <laughs> no. No, that, that, no. No. Um, I don't actually want to do anything with guys, so we'll just draw cards and punch things. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're they're annoying enough. So let's. Get out the... See, they mostly deal elemental damage in melee, so we'll bring out the Exo Chassis. And then activate Volatile Wiring. And play the Electro Deployment Units. Alright, so... Let's get out Aura Vision. And... Regenerate the Sentinels. Everybody heal one and draw a card. And what does Silver Gulch bring us? Tyler Hayes! <laughs> Just all the AoE damage. It's like the last thing I need to have happen when I have the Sentinels. What did I just say about AoE? Oh, jeez. And then, of course, there's Shu healing them all again. Alright, let's get Ra's strictly better base power. And just keep burning Nuit. Uh, it's Maelstrom. Like, I could put it on, I could put Rust the Mine on Tyler, but, eh. Hmm. I like Slip Through Time. Uh... 
Uh, let's see. Well, we'll just retcon Tyler Hayes out of there. And continue drawing card. Well, that's a happy card. Let's get that out there. And hit new eat. And we're going to sell out. Yeah, no, that, that, that can happen. Granted, I didn't really do that much damage to her the first round, so... Let's get out Coil Blaster. Tag her for another one. Stop dealing damage because I can't break through her damage reduction. We're not destroying anything. We're just dealing damage to everybody. Alright, so now we're going to give Omnitron a card, because he's running low on cards to play. And then we will Positive Energy. Give everybody some health. Deal two dam- well, one damage to all of them, and two damage to Nuit. And then continue healing the Sentinels, because it's really all I can do at the moment. Sentinel Tactics, that's good. And Unique... Oh! Alright. And more! <laughs> this is not an AoE location! Why am I getting all of the... Oh, wait. Whoops. Um, What am I doing? I need to discard... Let me see that. And we will... Oh, uh, yeah, I'm that guy giving Ra the high five. Um, this, is actually, this is actually not a very good selling out. Eh, we'll put you out, sure. And that's it. And here comes an Osiris. It's really funny that Osiris comes out on Taste of Immortality. Alright, um... So, let's flesh... And then, once again, <laughs> keep burning Nuit so that I can get rid of their damage reduction. Uh, then we will skip, peek at, uh, let's peek at the Sentinels. Oh, Blackout's a happy card. Yeah, there was no point in playing all of those cards. Oh, well. Let's draw... Oh, reset. Alright. Zap Nuit. Stop dealing damage. Reset. play a card, but I will deal two more damage to Nuit. Yeah. That is that that is one of my favorite things to do with the Sentinels versus uh, versus the Enead, is to black out one of them. Or to have Ride black out one of them. Um, now... Let's give Omnitron another card, because he needs them. 
So first things first, we're going to unique capabilities. Get Hippocratic Oath into play. And then... So as much as I want to uh, black out them right now, I'd rather Sentinel Tactics. Or actually, no, I'd rather fling into darkness so that I can get rid of Nuit right now. And we will heal. And keep healing. <laughs> Desert's Wrath. Alright, so two damage to everybody. Or one damage to everybody. Oh, and there go all my components. Okay, so now my next target is going to be a tomb. Actually, no, Os Osiris, because of his discard. Yeah, I need to I need to put Osiris down because I don't want to be pitching too many cards. So let's tag him for three, and then tag him for another four. Uh, let's see. I'll just throw that mass levitation out there as fodder, and peek at Omnitron. Alright, that's a card up to put on top. I'm actually okay with Omnitron's components getting blown up, because I can just get them out of his discard pile with his uh, base power. Um, get Gritty Reboot. Need to fill up Guise's hand. Base power, put deployment unit back in the hand. And give guy start giving guys cards so that Oh, well look, there's a card we can never play. <laughs> um Alright, throw out Sentinel Tactics, and then We will Haymaker Osiris and keep healing. And let's hope that we have a turn from the environment and the Ennead where they don't deal damage to everybody. Would be greatly appreciated, guys. Or Tyler Hayes can just show up again, because of course he will. <laughs> I... You know what? Well, uh, guys is finally filling his hand. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I 
All right, so I need to count my blessings. I mean, no, no more Ennead members came out. Where the hell is the Staff of Ra? Or even Summon Staff? All right, let's just start tagging these. I, I guess I should also be happy that they're not flipping any uh, suns, and they're not flipping any... Uh, any well, uh, or they're only flipping hands. They're not flipping suns or onks. So, and Osiris is down. <laughs> All right, now, priority number three, we have a tomb. I have three rest of mines that are completely useless. Uh, let's peek at Ross, see if we can... Hey, there's a summon staff. Let's only like five turns late all right now um so i think we go selling out into playing where did i leave that uh i did not get what i was looking for so we're going to pitch both of, of those to get back the best card ever. And then continue punching a tomb. I might eventually break through all of their absurd healing. Alright, let's get Electro Deployment Units. Follow the wiring, play, and get my Focus Plasma Cannon. Hey, there's a defensive burst. All right, that's going to clear them out really quick. Um, so we're going to give guys the card. Then positive energy. Everybody's going to regain some desperately needed health. Deal some damage. Medico, heal, heal. Heal. Alright, and then... Um, let's see. So, highest health is currently Geb. Do I want to just... No. I, I, I'm... We're just going to keep punching a tomb. I was thinking about using the Idealist to try and... Uh, reduce damage he would deal, but the damage cards of the Ennead are finicky at best. So I don't want to deal with... Uh... Oh, look! More AoE! Come on! <laughs> Alright. Um, so let's discard gimmicky character. We are going to play the best card ever. Uh... Deal two damage to a tomb. We will shout woo, and we will retcon away, sustain the portal. Um, we will then play a card, and we will play Blatant Reference. And for my second card, I will wonder, where did I leave that? Draw a gimmicky character, and I can do that too. I did not find what I was looking for. So let's discard those two cards and get back the best card ever. And then the third card we are going to play is, once again, the best card ever. To draw some more cards to punch a tomb once again in his dumb face, to regain some health, to throw our hands in the air and shout woo, and then to say, I can do that too, to Omnitron, in order to play, hmm. Guys the Barbarian.
And here comes Set. So we have target number three. Oh boy. This is about to get really ugly. Oh, hit Writhe. And Set's going to play yet another card. Okay. Well, looks like our priorities have just shifted because we need to kill Set, like, right now. And I do have some cards to do that with, so let's start with a Fire Burst. And then Blazing Tornado. And there's my summon staff. All right, um, we'll get rid of, say, Cheese to deal three damage to set. Uh, Visionary still doesn't really have anything worthwhile, so let's just Foresight and try and get something useful. Uh, free Cog's good. Mind Spike's okay. And then let's pitch another Say Cheese to deal another three damage to set. I'm going to deal another four damage to set. I'm going to deal another four damage to set. And then we're going to kill set. All right. One Ennead down in three turns. That's how it's done. Now, let's see. Um, so we're going to say, I can do that too, to Omnitron. And play, where did I leave that? Extreme and Super Ultra Kawaii. Oh, um, I don't have enough cards in hand, so no, I did not. Get back. Best card ever. Use tough choices to play the best card ever. Draw two cards. Deal two damage to a tomb. Regain a health. Throw my hands in the air like I just don't care. Draw two more cards. Deal two more damage to a tomb. Throw my hands in the air. And... Hmm... I guess we will end with a total beefcake. And punch a tomb in the face. So let's play and grab another plasma cannon. Deal two damage to a tomb. Deal two more damage to a tomb. Throw out Defensive Blast as my card for the turn. And then we're going to pitch the Shielding to zap them all for four damage apiece. Now I lose the, the On Destruction effect, but I'm okay with this. All right, so now I need to keep everybody alive. So let's, first things first, let's draw some cards. Oh, unique capabilities. Let's get the next one out. Um, actually, Calinguous Form. Oh, Team Communication. Sure, let's draw some more cards. I mean, I had to draw them at some point. Alright, I think now, um, I'm a little, actually, uh, what is that, it's going to be three damage, I did not get out Dura Steel Chains. Now, we'll, we'll do, AoE is more important. <laughs> While there's five of them out, AoE is a little bit more important, especially while their health is still so high. Yep, 
Yes, actually, you are correct. Actually, you know what? Let me see Lost in the Past. Um, at the end of the environment turn, if there are no cards in the environment, discard. Or in the environment trash. Okay. So we have a round to get rid of it. Alright. I'll punch a tomb. And then heal... Writhe? Raw... And Medico. And here comes Tyler Hayes. Okay, it's a water trial. I've seen exactly three cards in the environment deck this entire game. Water trial, Tyler Hayes, and sustain the portal. That's it. <laughs> no other cards have shown up. Sun's Fury. Everybody's taking damage. Uh, wonderful. Well, there goes a tomb. Um, so next target is going to be... Sh yeah, we'll go after Shu because he's a healer. Alright. Solar Flare! Okay! Alright, seems fair. Oh, well. Alright, let's whack Nep Nep. Wait, does. Uh, Omnitron does not have his. Ah, uh, no. And hit Nep Nep again. Get rid of the healers. Because. Okay. 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 Huh. Well, this is going to hurt. Well, it's not going to do anything to Omnitron, so let's do him first. Um, so, Shu is at 12. Ugh. Alright, rest of them doesn't matter. Oh no, I think I just lost a whole bunch of my Sentinels. Uh, Omnitron has the most cards in play. Uh, highest HP will be... Explosives Wagon and Omnitron. Yeah! Oh boy. Um, there go all of his components again. Oh man. Ow! Ow! Alright, so... Is this each non-hero? So it would hit the wagon for three. Let's summon staff. Or I can just flame spike. Um, is that the better play? Yeah, Flame Spike, Base Power, and Blazing Tornado will let me take out Shu and put the hurt on Nep. Alright, yeah, I think that's the correct play. So now, Base Power on Shu to get rid of him. And then Blazing Tornado on Geb. Nope. All right, come on, Sentinels. Don't don't lock up on me. Nope. Nope. Solar Flare was good for a turn. All right, now. Um. So let's go 
Mind Spike on Isis. And then Mass Levitation, so that way in case the Explosives Wagon blows up, I don't die from it. And we will zap. Alright, um... So... No, actually that's the wrong start of turn. Hit Neptus, put her to five. This will let me say cheese, put her to three, play another card, um, hmm. So we'll play Guys the Barbarian, tough choices, play a card, play Blatant Reference, kill Nep Nep. Pitch, shoot Isis, um, let's see, so we'll advance for the deployment unit, sure. Oh, so this will let me kill Isis, get rid of the explosives wagon, and then, yeah, that works. All right, discard a blade of coating, hit Isis first. Knock her out. Hit Geb next. And then it's gonna do nothing because of mass levitation. And then we will pitch, hit Geb for three. Um, then we will res Medico. And heal everybody. I mean, I probably could have finished the game right here. But I want to try and get everybody alive again. Oh, actually, I can just finish the game right here. What am I doing? All right, shoot Geb, and we're it's over. Whew. All right. Well, that was that went a little bit better than the last one. Oh, despite the fact that I was getting hammered by AoE every single round. Alright, I'm going to once again take a quick break, and when I come back, we will begin the next game. See you in a little bit.